What's up, guys? It is your boy once again. With another episode of Foolery. Now, let's jump right into this thing, man. I'm going to do a reaction to one of Kendra's, of course. Um, I want our fellas to pay attention to this one. I want you to really pay attention, and, and I want y'all to focus on what you need to be paying attention to. Y'all got to close your eyes sometimes when y'all talking to these women and stop looking at the face, the skin color, her hair, her body, her booty, everything, and listen what's coming out of her mouth. Because this woman here, she's a nice talker, but she contradicts every damn thing she says. And Kendra keeps catching in it. But this thing going to go for, you got to see it. You got to see it. It just gets worse as it goes. Put it that way. So, no further ado. Let's make sure we hit that like, share, and subscribe. Support the channel. And let's get at it, man. Let's check this thing out, man. I want y'all to just listen to this mess. Hello? Hi. You were in two screens, correct? Yes, I was. Okay. Can What's you hear me okay, though? I can. This is good. What's your name, babe? My name is Delia King. Delia. Delia. Yeah. Where are you calling me from, Delia? I'm calling from Kansas City, Missouri. Kansas City. <laughs> How old are you? I'm 35. 35? What you do for a living? I'm a hairstylist. Hairstylist? You have any kids? Um, I do. I have three sons. Three sons. How old are your three sons? So my oldest is 13, my middle son is nine, and my youngest is five. Five. All by the same man? No. How many men? All three have their own dads. Okay. Uh, why are you not with the five-year-old dad? So Before she answer that, have y'all noticed a trend? A trend in this. And they're all about 35, 33 years old. See, I remember, I'm a little older. So I remember when all this was coming about where... You know, it got that stage. These these women probably about 17 years old or something. All this stuff, we don't need no no fathers. We don't need no man in our lives. See, all that came started then. This is the results of it. Three kids, they all have their own fathers. This is the result. That's what happened. Now, after you don't hit that wall, you're trying to fix these things. Let's just see how it go, man. Just wanted y'all to see that. And pay attention also, she said she's a hairstylist. I'm going to come back to that later on. Oh, the five-year-old's father and me just didn't work out. He was younger than me, so just our differences. <coughs> and I've pretty much been single since my five-year-old. I've been now single for about four and a half years or so. Okay. And is Delia? Yes. Delia, how old are you, love? I'm 35. I'm 35. Yes. What's your zodiac sign? I'm a Virgo. Virgo. So we got Delia, Kansas City, Missouri, 35, Virgo, hairstylist, mom of three, by three men. Have you ever been married? I have not. Never married. All right, boo, what kind of man are you looking for? So I'm currently looking for a family-oriented man and a loving man. Um, I don't have my parents anymore, so that's kind of a big deal to me that, you know, I just have a nurturing man that understands the importance of the love that I'm looking for as far as us sharing a space together. Okay, so you want to build your own family? Yes. Okay. What are you doing? You already have one. You have three kids. What do you mean you want to build your own family? You already built your own family. She talking like she about to start over. <sighs> y'all ladies, man, y'all can't, can't hit that wall and start over. You notice all the born again, what, they around 34, 33 on older? They born again, start all over. My coochie gets a restart. Isn't around that saying, the wall. That wall ain't a joke. There ain't no joke, but you already have a family, man. Breakers. Um, so my deal breakers are liars, obviously. And then thieves, um, thieves of character more than thieves of options. Because I think that people like to leech off of people that are like shining or people that do things. And I don't want that in my life. Okay. Should he look a certain way? Um, I'd like for him to be taller than me because 
I don't know. I don't. I can't speak for other women, but I just think that in submission, it's gonna be kind of hard to submit to somebody I'm looking down at. So I kind of need a rar, like the little videos. I don't need no rar. You know what I mean? What <laughs> well, the I hell? Yeah. I'm five foot four. <laughs> okay, you're not that tall. No, so, no, I'm not you had that a man tall. That was five nine. Um, yes, I would. Yeah, okay. but so like you're I know here. you're five foot. Yes. Got you. Okay. Um, so you making some amount of money? Um, I like him for. I would like for him to make some money. What make does that some mean? money. Yes, like that's so important. Like, cause so no like, minimum. Um, sadly, I uh, if I had to say, it's rough to say a minimum. I think I'm more on the minimum of like how long he's been employed. Like, I don't want to meet you when you're on your last point at your job. Like, I would rather know you've had a little bit of longevity. Hold up, not to interrupt, but I'm gonna interrupt that. Right here. She got right here, and that ring hang. It's so distracting when she talks. Every time she move her head and see if I can really see it, it's so distracting. Why? What? What's go Why do y'all have so much going on in your face? I never understood that. She's not a bad-looking woman. Why you got all that going on in your face that's so distracting from your actual face? That's what I don't understand with you ladies. Y'all could be a nice looking person and then y'all go do all this stuff. Why? I, I just don't get it. Like, it's just so distracting. So I think versus me caring so much about, oh, the comma, I think it's more, okay, can you maintain employment? Do you enjoy what you do? Because I enjoy what I do. So it would help to know, you know, enjoy what you do. So every day doesn't end up you unwinding, complaining to me. I would like for us to enjoy our lives. Okay, fair enough. Delia, let's do the Kendra cam. Oh, Lord. <laughs> okay, let me turn it up. Ooh. Okay, my friend acting like it's such a problem, but she the reason I'm on here. So okay, wait, to move over to more to the... Oh, Lord. Okay. Get it sexy. Oh, my God. Get it sexy. Get it sexy. Get <laughs> sexy right here. <laughs> She couldn't wait to do that. But guys, this is why I tell you, close your eyes and listen. Because that right there would have been distracting. She got a big old booty, nice little waistline. Like I said, she's not a bad looking woman. Got, like she got nice skin. But y'all overlooking the chains and stuff in the face. And there's something else she's going to show you. But you guys get blinded. And then y'all say goofy shit like, bro, I don't care, bro. I don't care. Man, I'll drink a bad water. That's the big country dudes there. But y'all get blinded, then you get goofy, then you be stuck with a pretty mess. Got you end up with a pretty mess. I left out the other word. You guys know exactly what I'm talking about because some of your homeboys in it right now. Oh, she look good. Yeah, she fine. But she crazy as I don't know what. Can't go nowhere. They the main ones out everywhere you go. You hear them argue in the streets, in the house, in the clubs, everywhere you go. They argue. And then they what? Hug back up. And like nothing never happened. That they don't fucked up everybody else's night. Now they all hugged up riding off together. Go make some crazy love. Like, shh. It's a pain in the butt, man. Um, oh my god <laughs> yeah what was your last relationship bro okay so it was approximately about four years ago oh that was your child's father you said it wasn't my child's father it was someone i dated after the fact okay three um you don't have to answer but i'm going to ask <laughs> when's the last time you was intimate with someone so the last person i was intimate with was actually the ex from that time so that is yeah i'm not you haven't not. had sex in four years. So, no, I haven't not had sex in four years. Just the last person I had sex with was him. So, you know, are you boy, be single, but they be having sneaky links and hopping around. That ain't me. So I ain't get that. Okay, so. See, guys, this is where you need to listen. See how she avoiding what she wants to say? Oh, I don't need to know too much about him. I'm trying Go to get ahead. the time frame. So are you answering the question when the last time you answered? <laughs> so I'm answering the question, but I guess I'm not answering the question. So the last time we were intimate was around Valentine's Day. But I haven't been with him in a relationship in that long. So it's kind of been an off and on trying to make it work, not making it work type thing in this time. So 
wouldn't that make it worse for a guy to look at it? You're not in a relationship with the dude in the last four years, but he still gets to come through and hit it. Yeah. You're not in a relationship with him, but he still gets to come through and hit it. Yeah, that sounds better. You see what I'm saying, guys? You got to pay attention to what they're saying. Stop just looking. Pay attention to what they're saying. She's telling you everything about herself, no matter how she's trying to clean it up. She's just doing it. She's trying to be a slick talker. But it doesn't make sense. She contradicts herself. Yeah, we got spent Valentine's Day together. Whoa. <laughs> no. But yes. <laughs> Okay. Does he have a girlfriend? <laughs> no, he does not have a girlfriend. He does okay. not have a girlfriend. Y'all just linked up on Valentine's Day. Yes. Now, how many of you will be cool with that? If she said, no, we ain't together nothing like that, but we link up on Valentine's Day. The lover's day. So not only y'all didn't link up, but y'all making love. Because it's a special day for women. So why him? Why does he get the opportunity to come on such a magnificent day for women and get the box? You see what I'm saying? She ain't making no sense, man. Dude is, a, is come through on a regular. Okay, why? <laughs> y'all, but y'all didn't go out on a date or anything? We didn't go out on a date, but see? we had a date. Okay, and then after that, See what, I'm what happened? Like, like, why can't y'all work this out? Because we are toxic and it's just unacceptable. So I, it's just, yeah. But versus going out and I hadn't gotten that far with anyone else. Yeah, that happened. So here we are. Okay. Yeah. You two have a sexual relationship. That sounds good for you guys now. All that pretty, nice body, all this and this has a sexual relationship with a ex- that she can't seem to shake. Who coming in for this? But I bet you some knucklehead gonna jump on there, find her information, and try to get with her. Because he only see the face, the skin, the body. He ain't heard a word come out of her mouth. Her mouth. But she full of it. Just keep listening, keep listening. I'm let it run. Yeah. I can't believe that. Oh my Lord, look at me. Yeah, fix yourself. Okay. Huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, what are three flaws you have to work on, sweetheart? Um, I would have to say um, my lack of patience only in wanting things now because I'm so used to making things happen for myself. So, you know, I understand things take longer. So just, I guess, the patience when it comes to that. And then uh, another, I guess, flaw. It's hard to admit your flaws, but I say I'm overzealous because I'm like really excited. I get passionate about things. I'm a lover. My nickname is Sunshine. So I think with that being stated, though, some people sometimes people take me wrong versus understanding me. And like a few years ago, I actually went viral for saying that I had nothing to offer a man, and then that turned into me being on world world hip. I mean world star. That all I had to offer a man was my box, which wasn't even where I'm at. It's like people interpreted me wrong when in reality. I was just speaking, you know, how I actually feel. So I think that, you know, that stinks, but it's because I'm overzealous. And when I get passionate, it just comes off as a lot going on. So I'm not familiar with your viral video. What what, what happened with this? What did you say in the viral video? So um, about, it was like in 2021, I had went on a rant because um, I was one um, to date this guy. And this guy had asked me what I had to offer. And basically, I'd explain to him I really had nothing to offer. And I went into the rant of basically why I felt the way I felt. And it ended up viraling. And it just turned into a lot. But it was really just me explaining that, you know, how frustrated I was for, you know, constantly cooking for men that aren't assisting in the home and how you know I work but I'm frustrated I just explained all of the various reasons why basically I didn't get to know very much about myself to explain to offer because I've been working so much and doing all of these different things so instead of just wanting a basic person I need to make sure I'm not a basic person trying to attract a basic person but it spiraled into a con it, it went crazy <laughs> what was the feedback okay before we get to this part again why are you offering information that you shouldn't be offering? You want somebody to know something. See, you kind of, a lot of these women come on here and they, they try to talk about things, but also 
they trying to troll a little bit and get themselves out there. She has these platforms that she's been trying to get the hit or whatever. You went viral on Worldstar for the wrong thing. Why would you bring that up on here? Why? Because you're trying to go viral. But then again, you're going you're gonna to show people who you really are. Now, why, guys, pay attention. Pay attention because, you know, Kendra Messi, so she's going to look your ass up. Oh, the feedback was horrible. It was that I, I'm basically, I'm, you know, because I'm a mother of the three children. Maybe I need to get back with my fathers. And basically all I had to offer is my box. And I'm angry and I'm bitter. And it wasn't the case, though. That was not the issue. I just was venting is online. Is the video on day. YouTube? Say that again. Is your video on YouTube? It is on YouTube. What's the name of the video on YouTube? Um, now, as far as what they may have named, and I'm not for certain, but I do know if you type my name in on YouTube and then type in something like nothing to offer a man, I'm sure it's going to show up. She know exactly <laughs> what it is. Yes. Let me see. She know exactly nothing. what it is, the name of the video. I can't believe that this is happening. I shouldn't have. D E L I A. A. Lord, how much? Let me that in. Is this, okay, this video right here? Yep, that's it. <laughs> I bet her friend in the background, like, why did you tell her that? See, a friend got her on here trying to get her, trying to find her somebody. So I bet now the friend's like, why did you do that? But you don't understand what your friend is. Your friend is a clown. Your friend don't know what to do. You married. She got three kids, three different dads, 35 years old, and no prospects. You see what I'm saying? And you still think this shit is cool to find somebody. But all right, guys, sit in and listen to this and watch how this go. have something to offer which is what led to me continuing to be single because of course the standards have changed and how I feel about myself but at that time I mean don't get it twisted some of the things that I said in that video I still stand on but I no longer feel I have nothing to offer I think I just viewed myself at that time as having nothing to offer and didn't really realize really even in myself you know okay so listen to the video guys it points to all the same old stuff that women been saying. You know, I ain't had the opportunity to be a woman because I've been running things. And she said one thing that she always played the basically the masculine one in the relationships. She was the head. She was the leader. Which tells me what type of dudes you were fooling with. Each one of your relationships, you were the one. 
that led the relationship. So what type of dudes do you have these kids by? I don't know if Kendra got into it deep on that. But what you had three, was it three kids, three different dudes, but each relationship you were in charge and you was the dominant one, all this other stuff. So you don't know what to offer a man because you always basic what's the man? Come on, man. Lady, you're only 32. At that time, you did the video. You're 33 now. Only thing, only difference is you caught that backlash. And now you know you got to say something different. So now you got a well-developed answer because you didn't have one before. But let's see if your actions show it differently. See, that's what you got to look at. Yeah, you can tell me the world. She's a slick talker. Let's see your actions. Now watch her actions as this thing go and watch how this shit start going downhill. Just watch. Oh, any of it. I just, I had a lot going on at that time and I was just up ending one morning and then it just, I, I guess that's how viral works, but baby, I, I just was up talking, so. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so now you don't, so, so now you feel some ways, but different. All right, so, that, okay, so I, I'm trying to think. Now I want to hear the answer again. <laughs> Why would a guy be lucky to be right. with you? Well, I think that a guy would be lucky to be with me because um, I know who I am. I know what I do bring to the table. And I also am ready to compromise and cohabitate with someone. And I think that that's the most important. I know how to allow a person to live, um, you know, the way that they need to live while still sharing a life with them. And I think that that's important. And I'm just ready for the companionship. So I think someone will be lucky to have me because it's not just, oh, I want a man for this reason. I also need for other reasons. So I think that that position is important to a man. So I know how to be a woman to a man, and that's a big deal. Do you want more kids? Look at that answer. How she looked at her friend. Um, she said, not by allowing a man to lead compromise with him, making decisions, trusting in him, um, showing affection. You know what I'm saying? None of the things that a lot of you don't look at, like, and giving him peace. And what I mean by that, a lot of people get that mixed up. Peace is where you are not bothering him with mess. He can come in the house, because some guys will not come home. They got to prepare themselves to come home. And so your man is always outside doing something. He in the garage. He don't want to sit in the house with you because you keep this. You can't stop this. Something he don't want to hear it. Go do this, go do that. Ah, nah, nah, blah, 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 nah, nah, nah. Where you do this? Where you gonna he gonna get up, go outside. Sometimes he just wanna come in the house, kick his feet up, and fucking chill. Give him a little something to drink. He good to go. The littlest things for dudes y'all don't understand will make that man do the world for y'all. But y'all too busy caught up in your own stuff and don't realize most dudes don't need a lot. If you ask a guy, what guy said he want this big old house? Ain't nobody. Most a millionaire, but not regular guys. They will take a small place and fix it up. Hell, they have five pieces of furniture and a TV and they good to go. They don't need a lot. Y'all the ones who need all this extra I can show your friends. They don't. Now, they might get a nice car or something, nice bike, but that's it. But y'all need to understand that about us. It ain't all this stuff that y'all want. He wants to be just, hey, I just need my own space, kick back. I don't want to talk for the next two hours. I just want to chill, watch me a movie, watch a game. It's good to go, but y'all can't do it because y'all want the damn interact too much but she ain't say none of this she just gave her answer she figured out in case Kendra asked her and then she stopped right there because she didn't really say much um I'd actually love to have more children but okay. I'm open if they're not too because I understand you know not wanting more children okay. just based off society no could, could society. the guy have kids already yes he can have children so we got a couple questions for you you ready I'm ready. Uh, <laughs> all right. Oh, I'm not scared. Just Jay talking said, why are you entertaining someone you know is toxic? Your time should be the value you give to the right man, right? Right. I agree. Why are you entertaining someone that you know is toxic? I'll be selling her 
Don't, don't make me do it. Okay, so what he's asking is correct. And I think that, honestly, my reason is comfort. So there's no actual excuse, nothing like that. It, again, just kind of goes back to what I said. Like, I hadn't met anyone different. So, you know, it's way easier to go to what you know versus sometimes being ambitious to try something new. I hadn't at that time. So that's really the answer. You heard the friend. So the friend already told you this. And see, I go back to something I said a while back when I was on another video. Most of your friends and family have told you to stop fooling with this dude. Most of them have. It's like I tell guys, some of your family and your homeboys done told you to stop fooling with this girl. She ain't no good, bro. Don't do, don't do it. But y'all still do it. Same thing here. People are telling you you need to move on from that. But what you do? Well, we hooked up for Valentine's Day for some love sex. Why Valentine's Day of all days? Because you don't want to be alone. Let's be real. You didn't want to be alone on Valentine's Day. You called him up at last minute. That's why y'all didn't go out because he didn't have plans of being with you. But since he ain't had nothing to do, hey, yeah, he going to come through and get that. You see what I'm saying? You ain't making no sense, young lady. All right. Jihan Day said, so how should a man take you seriously when you get on camera, no draws, working, <laughs> and you got three kids by three men? <laughs> Another misinterpretation. So I'm just dumb thick. I definitely have on underwear. So that's the problem. And then secondly, um, I guess it just will take the right kind of man to know the difference because I get that some men get insecure about a woman twerking on camera with her underwear on, and then there are just some men that could care less. So. Don't get it twisted. I don't have those videos up. It just happened that way. That's like almost saying, dang, she's doing too much on her birthday. You know, it's just certain things. So I understand how, why he would ask that. But I also feel like there's a time and a place for everything. In that moment, I did that. But I don't have a bunch of that kind. So you're twerking on your on your social page? Not at all. So. Oh. No, well, I would say I want to take responsibility. I hyped her up. Because, okay, I'm fresh off of the BET Awards. And I need to post it on YouTube. And I was sitting by... <laughs> Sexy Red, and Sexy Red was twerking. This literally just happened yesterday. Mm -hmm. Her hair was red, so when she did the Kendra cam, I said, get it sexy. So I'm going to take responsibility of her twerking. That was my... And I take full responsibility because I'm a grown adult, and you hype me up, and us as women, that's what happens when the noises happen. We do that. That's the thing. I don't so, know. I, so well, I would just I say... Think no, you don't. You're 35. You're a mother of three. Kendra don't do it. And that's the thing. And I, I brought it up a while back where why when y'all hear music, y'all say, F it, turn around, start throwing your ass up in the air. Remember y'all got do talking about you got on the furniture at the restaurant. I've seen it down uh, the beach area. They got on the tables at a breakfast restaurant. Start doing all kind of weird shit. These were older women. These weren't like young girls. Every one of those women were 30 something and up. And like she said, because you heard something don't mean you got to go out and, and display it. That thing comes with age where it's supposed to stop. But y'all so busy trying to be like these young girls, you make yourself look stupid because a man looking at it is like, oh, okay, he ain't gonna take you serious. Because, like, okay, now don't do that shit. Now, when I get around these people, you can't do that. You ever heard a dude tell you that? All right, I'm going to be around. Hey, you can't, don't, don't start. If you know some music, come on. Don't start doing that and twerking and stuff. They ain't with that. They trying to throw hints at you. You need to stop. Stop thinking that everything is good to go because somebody else did something. 35, woman, come on. If you're a man, don't judge her. She wasn't, like, twerking yeah, right. intentionally. She was following along with my hype, my hype girlness. Okay, we got some more questions, y'all. I guess they want to talk to you. Oh, okay. Carmen <laughs> Gillis said, I think you are fine. If we go the distance, will the man have to adopt your kids? Oh, that's actually a beautiful question. So I was adopted. I think that that's more of a question that, I mean, Don't I guess I could dis a discussion I could have with the man because sometimes, you know, you can be married without the man actually adopting the children. So I think that's just taking it a step further. So if he decides to do that, that's great. But that's not a mandatory decision because my children have their father. So it's not, oh, well, 
I'm so in desperation. I, I would love the father figure, of course, to what I call substitute in the times when the, di the dad is obviously not there in the house. But the overall, no, like that's not a mandatory thing. So yes, you'd have to do that in the position being next to me because I've seen relationships where, you know, the guy kind of just ain't doing nothing with the kids, but there with the woman and I'm not for that. Like I, I didn't have that. I didn't deal with that growing up. So I don't want to impose that on my children. Guys don't do that shit. Don't don't adopt those kids. Because most likely <laughs> every time I see somebody that do adopt the kid, even on a movie, not a movie, but like reality or whatever, they break up. And the guy now, and then the woman put the man on child support. Knowing that's not his biological child. I did, you know, I'm just trying to do the nice thing and adopt the child because the child said he loved me, called me daddy. And then y'all break up and you put him on child support. Don't even give him an opportunity to take care of the child. Just put him on child support. This actress did this to this guy. The guy helped. He knew people up, you know, because you got the father involved. You can't just adopt the child. So he had his power because he was in politics. Got his friends somehow to, to sign off for this man to adopt these kids from this dude. This one, well, she had one for him. Adopt the kid. Six months later, she won a divorce and divorces him. He didn't want it. He was contesting it. Divorces him and put him on child support for not only the two that they have, but also now the adopted child that he took from the man. And then she got full custody of all of them. Ain't that some shit? Now, how big a fool he looked? Now, you did this to a brother, and now she did it to you. And the brother been telling you she wasn't shit. But no, you thought you was doing the do, and now she got you. And took him off the hook now, so he don't have to pay no child support. So now she put it on him. Brothers don't do that shit. Okay. Noble Nubian said, sit down and work on you. You keep letting these men hit and you go. Hit and you going to end up with baby number four and no husband. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. No response? Yeah. What can you say to that? I, I can't disagree. Yeah. You're just okay. having random sex. That's what's going to happen. Andre Paul said, have you asked a man that you desire what he desires in a woman. By the way, I appreciate your video. Oh, thank you. Have you asked a man what you did that you desire, what he desires in a woman? Oh, well, yes, you ask that. I think that you don't get, I at least, haven't gotten as much of the same answer. Oh, Lord, she gonna pull my page up. Anyway, I haven't gotten the same answer that I'm actually, <laughs> um, you know, giving off. So, you know, it gets hard. Like, you know, when a guy asks you, you know, what are you looking for in a guy? And then you say these things. And then, you know, I think that a person is easily ready to impose and be that person for you you know, only until so far sometimes. So I'm not always excited to state that type. I'd rather just kind of go with the flow because you never know. Certain people really are a different way and immediately telling someone cookie cutter how you want them to be actually limits them and their abilities of what they can actually give you. That's how I feel. So I don't want to be like, oh, I'm looking for this and this and this because now instead of you coming as this whole, you may just try to fit yourself into these minimal slots and those might not even be your strong points. And now I'm not even getting a good version of you because you're trying to format what you think I need versus just being who you are. Okay. Um, DK Holloway Diesel said she also went viral for going back and forth with a young chick too. Mm. Oh, wow. Did you go back and forth <laughs> with somebody? Hey, yeah, that happened. Told you. They looking her ass up now. All that, see what I'm saying? It's getting going to get worse as they keep going. Because now they seeing the real you. Argumentative. About to pop up. Told y'all. Pay attention. Yeah, I just, I didn't think nobody thought of that. Okay, so... Uh, I have a pretty large following on TikTok, and this girl came from me one year. So we went back and forth on TikTok. That did happen. I just didn't know that was a... Yeah. Okay. All right. They know, they know you in these internet streets, girl. Uh, <laughs> I don't have internet streets. That's terrible. They don't have internet streets. Derek Gaines says, what traits are you keeping in 
your new persona. Are you hard to get along with? Shout out to Theo Coop. Salute, do better squad in the house. Who's Theo Coop? That's that's his people. I don't know them. Okay. I don't know either. But he said, "What traits are you right. in your new persona? Are you are you hard to get along with?" So I guess in my, um, I guess, existence, I feel I'm hard to get along with if your personality uh, falls into the beta male category, only because I'm strict on the, the, I guess, the standards that I have for myself. So, of course, that means that I'm going to be strict on the standards I have for you. And I've learned that beta males don't accept if any type of anything, letters, constructive criticism or encouragement or anything. It's just almost an issue all the time. So I'm not hard to get along with whatsoever unless everything that I say becomes an issue. Then I guess, yes, I'm coming off as combative. So no, I, I disagree. I don't think that I am at all. And I don't get that too often unless uh, someone that falls into that category. Okay. I notice she doesn't take accountability for much. Because if you listen to what she just said, she doesn't like for you to basically just talk back to her about when she criticized him. This, all this beta male shit. You had three kids by three beta males. So you should know them well. And then you got another one that comes through in, on Valentine's Day. Those are beta males. So to sit up here and try to give this whole beta male talk is ridiculous. And if it don't go the way you want, blah, blah, blah. You, lady, you're just hard to deal with. You're probably argumentative. You're hard to deal with. You're probably quick-tempered because you're going at it back and forth with people on Instagram, I mean TikTok, and all other shit. So you're good with going viral for stuff, but you're going viral for the wrong things. They looking you up, lady. I'm telling you. Israel Light. Israel, Israel Light. He said, what is the tat on your neck? Oh, okay. So it's the eye. This one oh. particularly has, I don't know how much you can see it. Do I need to like move it? Oh, so you have a lot of tattoos. I do. Oh, right there, right there. That's what's holding up a lot of good guys. That is this, what the, guys, you're not taking that anywhere. No functions, no to the house. <laughs> Not to my best friends, no. And the crazy thing is, why do you have this? Then you got two big tattoos on your chest, and one is a woman. I don't know what that is on the other side. Then you got shit hanging out your nose and your chin, uh, your lip, the bottom and the top. Like I said before, why so much, ladies? I just don't understand. Why do you have so much going on? That is holding you up for a lot of things. If you had that type of personality that you can rock with that, then that stuff can work for you. I've seen women with tattoos. They can get men. They have the personality, though. They're submissive. They, they still feminine. They ain't acting all hard and like you want to go at it with the dudes. But even them, still, guys at certain levels that they want, like I said, it's these dudes that you want that don't want you back that we don't hear talking about. And this might be the biggest reason. Yeah, that's a lot, man. That is a lot. I don't even know what's going on in that neck. What the hell? Because I've been through a lot in my life, so some of the pain didn't make sense to me. So Look at Kendra's face, how she's looking at her. I'm like, what the hell? I don't blame her. When it didn't make sense, what I would do is go and get a tattoo because tattoos aren't comfortable, so it would make sense of some of the things that I've been through. Okay. Okay. So you like hurting yourself because you said, no, tattoos aren't comfortable when you're getting them. So you get upset, you go get tattoos because it's uncomfortable, which means you have to go to pain. You want to hurt yourself for being upset. I think the young lady just need to get some deep counseling. I really do. Like I said, guys, pay attention to what she's saying. Stop looking at her. Because that would have catch you walking down the street. You see the booty, the pretty hair, the skin, all this. Light skin, because y'all know y'all love these light skin girls. But then she sit down with you and have that conversation. 
and now you see all these crazy damn tattoos, and then she go to explain them. You still gonna stick around? Yeah, because you want to hit it, and now your ass caught up, tied up to a damn tree, butt-ass naked, looking for somebody to come and save you. Just saying. Um, let's see. All right. She ain't want to talk about that. I'm sitting here watching, and all these people was rolling through, and then I get on, and we got an episode. I'm like, all righty then. Hey, I'll double I. I'll double I said, majority of people looking honestly will not get the chance to ask you about the kids because of your representation of big old neck tat, lip piercings right here. Respectfully, toxic attract toxic. Mm hmm. I don't know. I think I'm just more honored he paid you $20 to say that. <laughs> Do you think your image? The defensive mode about to kick in. Dude, just being honest. They're not going to get to actually you know real things because they might just want to hang around to hit it. They know they ain't going to wife it up. They're not going to take her serious. So they're not going to be concerned about your kids and your well-being like that. And that's probably what you already done had, them three baby daddies and the, and the Valentine's hookup dude. So, does it attract certain men? Um, no, because I've attracted all walks of life. So I think in, in the end, that's why I'm not sitting and dogging any of my exes, because I chose them. It's not a, oh, I attracted. I attract everything, even women. So it's what I'm choosing. And at that time... Women? You I was, think women too? No, I'm saying I attract them. So okay. I'm just saying I attract everything. So it's what I was choosing. And at that time, the mindset that I had, I was more focused on just someone loving. It didn't really matter all of the other things. So red flags, I was ignoring them. It was me. So it's not one of them. They did that. I have many videos of me actually discussing that because it's not one of those they did. It was me, the decisions that I made. I'm very accountable for a lot of the decisions that I made because I'm the one that's made a lot of my decisions. So now, I guess the question is, but are you attracting the men that you actually want to be in relationships with long term? Um, now, currently, I can't say yes or no, only because I've really been engulfed in my work. And then when I switched over to the non-for-profit side, I haven't had that ability to date, especially with my five-year-old. So that was actually one of the reasons my friend pushed me to get on here because she's like, well, just go about it this way so that they can reach out to you. And I'm just like, oh, OK, yay. And what's really wild is she came all the way up here to Kansas City from Oklahoma. And somehow we got on here and I've been on here for like three different episodes. And somehow she arrives and we're on here. I <laughs> That's how it was. Too much I guess. See how quick that damn conversations changed. She jumped off that real quick. She never answered the question. She asked her, do you attract the men that you want? She said, yes or no. That's not an answer. That puts her right back in where we started. And then she started talking about her friend. Pay attention, guys. It was the said She's been watching for four years, and she's See? been on me about this for like, well, yeah, she's married, so she's like, I got a man. You need to get on there. She's been on this. It's crazy work. Okay. Speaking of um, things... What's this? Oh, no, I didn't mean to... I didn't... Never answered, right? Never answered. And so she just stopped right there. Pay attention, guys. Oh, somebody said That wasn't the one I was trying to... Wait, how do I... Right. Okay. That wasn't the question I was trying oh, to... Oh, Lord, I'm ready. Um, speaking of Divine, Divine Photo said, Are you single by choice? Why were you into these toxic men? What kind of outcome do you want now? So at that time, um, I am single by choice. And at that time, um, the toxicity was really that the things that he had went through and was going through, I was trying to fix. That was the issue. So it was toxic because we just kept clashing because of me trying to work on someone's problems that they didn't want to work on. So with that being stated, it was really just just bad decision making on my behalf. So now, of course, now that I know that, now that I'm looking into the future and wanting someone that at least stands in the equal playing field that I'm standing in, the outcome that I would like to do is get married and move forward. Get married and move forward. Yeah, just like that. You know, I used to tell my sister when they was younger to, um, Stop getting dudes that need to be fixed. And they never understood, I don't think they understood what I used to say. And I meant where these dudes that don't have anything going on, they don't have cars, they don't have good jobs, they don't have, um, they don't take care of the kids, 
They always blaming somebody else for something, this and that. Stop getting dudes that need to be fixed. Get guys that already got this shit going on. At least headed in that direction. Or you end up like this. You know what I'm saying? Because she had three kids by these dudes. Three. So now you sitting here, no matter what you say, they still got three kids. So, and about three different dudes. And we don't know what the mentality of these dudes are. You know what I mean? So you don't know what you're about to walk into. So it's just, don't put yourselves out there, ladies. Just don't. All right. So I don't want to say your name wrong. Tyla? Me. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, we do have, I'm going to read this one because it's a nice one for you. Um, <laughs> uh, oh, God, girl, they ain't done. Child, I done thought we got the last one. Let me read this one. <laughs> the king of Jovar said, I think you're gorgeous. And I love the fact that you take accountability. I hope you find your king. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay. Keon said, a lot of guys on here be fake preaching. You seem level-headed, bodies on point too. Good luck to you. Right there. Why did he have to say body on point? You see what I'm saying? Fellas, you got to stop getting distracted, man. You didn't hear nothing that came out this woman's mouth. Nothing. She still sleep around with her ex. Three kids by three different dudes. She still can't figure out why she can't cohabitate with someone. She's very defensive. You hear it. She was, you ain't hear what she said or told a friend, oh, I'm ready for it. After these comments start coming, she's like, oh, I'm ready for it. So she ready to go at it again. After she just got exposed by someone said, you going at it on somebody with TikTok. Y'all, well, go ahead. Get you one of these. Get one. There you go. Get one. I hope you get Thank one. You. Okay. Keon, I hope you get Ooh, one. Ooh, child, this is the last one. L double I said, <laughs> because you're toxic and you look toxic, it is what it, it is. Good luck, respectfully. Right. Respectfully. Okay, well, you had two men. Those are all the last three comments were from three men. Mm -hmm. So two, after they got to know you better, are fine with it, and one is still having his his right. Set. Okay, whatever. His right, preference. Uh, his preference. I feel like everybody gets to have a preference. I may not be his cup of tea. That's okay. That might be what it is. All right, girlfriend, are you on the Kendra G Singles dating app? I am. Okay, what's your name on the app? Is it your name it's, right here? It's Okay, so I want y'all to pay attention to this right here, and then we're going to end it. Pay attention to what Kendra catches on her, her singles app, her, her profile. Pay attention now. Now, Kendra just got this thing set up a couple months ago, so everything is new on it. Now, watch. It's my name. <laughs> is it D-E-L-I-A? Yes. And King, right? Yes. Here you are. She's easy to find. <laughs> her name is unique. That's a good picture. You have a great Thank you. Really Thank well. you. Thank okay. you. Okay. Oh, How Lord. you pronounce it? Oh, you change the colors up. Yeah, I do. Okay. I'm a hairstylist. Girl, what is that? Okay, that's a nose ring. Yeah, it is, and it connects to my ear. So you don't want a corporate guy. Um. So why do you feel that way? Because <laughs> I have that. I think. Well, I will just say this. I've had corporate men on my show, mm -hmm. and. They, I mean, if there's one guy in particular during, like, I mean, I think he was extreme, but he was telling me for um, corporate events, he didn't want a woman with tattoos, mm -hmm. tattoos nowhere, you have to be able to go to his events and, you know, dress a certain way, he didn't want any piercings, so I think, I do think he was extreme, but mm -hmm. he left a lasting impression on me when it comes to how corporate men want to be presented at times. I can't understand. speak for all men that work for corporations because, you know, corporations are different. You know, there's right. some Fortune 500 companies who are not stiff and in no, suits that's true. all the times. But I do think a man that is in a suit wearing man that has to show up a certain type of events, I do, I do think he would probably have an issue. Yeah, now I do. But it might not be the man for you, though. I, I was going to say, now, I understand that, and I do think, you know, that just to me, too, also would be sad on his behalf because if their opinion 
you know, overshadows the type of woman that I am because I'm at corporate events all the time, actually. And crazily, like, Kansas City, we're the show me state. So, like, I, I stand on big things and the things that I do are in corporate. I, I deal with them often as far as foster and adoptive children because uh, we all know that, you know, it does take quite a bit of income to actually raise foster and adoptive children. And that's why I specialize in style. So when I'm networking and talking to these people and I'm in these rooms, I'm sure that they're looking at me. But then once I get to communicate, they don't feel that way. So if he comes and it's like, oh, well, yeah, I can't take you to this because of this appearance, then that's sad on them because they've actually missed out on what blessings come out of me because you're so stuck on what see you see here and not getting to know the inside person. That's just a, a loss that he'll have to take because, I, again, I'm still also not dating based off the corporate climb, but I also do feel like I'm not going to belong myself or make myself, you know, minuscule for any person just so that he can continue at a corporate level when at the end of the day, let's be honest, I'm the one licking you at 2 a.m., not the corporate Americans. All right. So she ended that with sex again. Now, what she didn't understand is what I was talking about earlier. Guys in different positions. Guys are. Guys are looked at by the woman they're with. That's where their accolades come. So you bring this woman to a special event. Remember I said about the guy said, you can't do this here. Don't do that. This event. Don't, don't, don't do that here. It's different. It's levels to this stuff. Just like I go to my wife's events. Now I'm retired. My wife, she works corporate. We go to these events. I get it. I get it. But see, a guy with some tattoos and a woman with tattoos is going to be a little different in the profession you had. See, they love me to talk about I'm a retired military and all this stuff. They love that shit. I can look the look, got a little couple of tats here and there, look a little rugged. They love that. But see, I can sit down and have that conversation with them too. And they always end up liking me more than talk about her. She's like, oh, they still like where, where I wait so and so want him to come back. I'm always invited back. But see, when you show up though with him, he showed up with this woman, and then every time you say you're twerking. You got a bunch of whole bunch of tattoos here and there, stuff hanging out your face. See, you now being looked at by the women more than the men. And so you got to understand that when you're trying to go to certain dudes. Now, it's a lot of guys wouldn't pay no attention to it. But see, y'all want these one percenters out here, these three percenters, these two hundred thousand dollar men, these three hundred thousand dollar men. They run in a whole different circle. So it's a lifestyle difference. So that's what y'all need to understand. It ain't just, like she said, he ain't gonna be, don't wanna be licking on it at 2 a.m. in the morning. He ain't concerned about 2 a.m. He's concerned right now trying to move up in this career. And believe it or not, some dudes judge men by the woman they come with. I am not lying. It was someone, they said the dude didn't get the job or get the position because his wife was unattractive. I am not lying. There was some corporate thing. I can't remember exactly what it was, but I remember them saying this. He didn't get positioned because he had an unattractive wife. And I was like, wow. But that's the way they think because they want a certain type, a certain thing they're going to show. And it shows a lot too. But y'all ladies don't get it because you're getting in your feelings. See, she in her feelings. She went to a whole rant, got in her feelings. You know what I mean? And then she ended with who's gonna be licking on at 2 a.m. He still still find somebody else to lick on you. But see, they need somebody to walk in these rooms with them that can also network with other women and wives in that room. You understand? That's how that works. So when we go to events, I don't be up under my wife. When I go to her events, I walk around and talk to people. I get to know people. People get to know me. We sitting there laughing, joking, having drinks. And then we get ready to leave. That's it. I did my job for her. But y'all don't understand that, how that works. So get upset. Get on your feelings. But the dudes that y'all want to take care of you and your three kids, those are the type of dudes. So you can either compromise and change or you can stay and keep your betas. Simple as that. All right, we're going to roll a little bit more. I'm going to close this thing out. It's getting too late. Look how she looking. See, now she hurt. Look how she looking. 
wasn't ready for the ending. It's true, though. No, no, it's not. Okay. I don't know if that, that, that that's not on your profile. I don't assume. Not at all. <laughs> just the fact of the matter. <laughs> not at all. All right, all. let me just start on her profile, okay? Dahlia. The profile, we about to die laughing. Is Dahlia? It's Dahlia. Dahlia, yeah, like yeah. that Dahlia. is my apologies, my apologies. You're okay. Delia King, Delia King, let me read her bio. Delia King, 35, um, she is a Virgo, single, has kids. I'm single, I have been for four years. I don't believe in sneaky links. And I'm looking for a life partner. So you gave us sneaky links on Valentine's Day? No, babe. I mean, you just told us about a sneaky link on Valentine's Day. But it wasn't a sneaky link. Like, it's but he's not, not a your secret. man. So it's what do you consider a, him as? Well, no, but it's not a secret. And then it's like, my, I, it's, it's just ghetto. Okay, it's okay. Ghetto. Well, it's that's terrible. Like, it's not a secret because she told us. Currently sitting on my sister's couch, but I'm a go-getter. Oh, we missed that. You live with your sister? No, so I put that because at this point in my life, I'm just convinced that, like, men like bum women and bitches with big backs. And, like, my back is wow. big. And I just think if I posted I was a bum, like, dudes seem to like that. So it, it gets hits, too. They'd be like, oh, well, dang, I, I could talk. What's going on? It's crazy. But I just put that. I don't know. Wait a minute. Didn't she say she hate liars? Didn't she say that earlier? She hate liars? But you lying to get dudes. So now you wonder why you're getting the betas. That's why you're getting the betas. She's just seeking attention, guys. Oh, wow. Let so. me ask you this. This goes back to my question earlier. Mm -hmm. The guy that is attracted to that, is that the guy you want back? Well, I haven't been on there. So I just put that when I was being funny. I didn't take the app serious until she said that you take the app serious. And then I even put it back on the phone. So, But either way, there. I think I that haven't. you do really feel that whim like bum chicks. Yeah, I do feel that way, yeah. Well, oh, oh man, you ain't back seeing. again to what you're attracting because of a right. man who is seeking a wife, ain't looking for a bum chick to raise his children, <laughs> ain't looking for a bum chick to be a, represent him at events where he got to show up. So that's not the that's not true for all men. So don't don't put something on you that's that factual because you will attract that type of guy. Right. But it's not the guy that you really want, and that's not true. What I'm telling you, men who are looking for wives, they want someone intelligent. They want someone that can hold things down. They don't want someone that can't pay your own phone bill and got to look for him. That ain't, that ain't the kind of man that I think you're saying you describe. So if you're attracted to those types of guys, then you got to figure out how not to attract that man and attract another guy. Because that's not true for I don't know what's going on with that sound, but it's not me. So I wonder if it's on hers. Let's try to. Oh, I man. I got to correct you there. You right. You so right. if that's not true, if you don't sleep on your sister's couch. No, I don't I sleep on my sister's couch. Then. I would take that off of the profile. Uh, yeah. I'll take it down. But right. I have to use the profile. Um, you're going to want to talk to people with this in a person. She said, what you're looking for, she says, trust me. You're going to want to talk with, about this with me in person. Deal breakers, liars, and you don't lie in your profile. <laughs> so you guys, pay attention. Deal breaker is a liar. And you it's lie terrible. In your profile. I can't. I, I, it's terrible. Okay. I'm going to end this right here. It's, it's about to end anyway, but I didn't want to run past my time. Okay. So, fellas. Am I right? Pay attention to what's coming out of the mouth. This girl contradicted herself the whole time. The entire time she contradicted herself. So I tell you guys, stop paying attention so much to everything else. It's distracting. The tattoos, the facial stuff, the body, everything is distracting. And then y'all take it home. Then you open up this can. It's like, oh, shit. Ain't nothing in here but a can of whoop ass. All she want to do is fuss and fight. That's it. A can of whoop ass. That's what it looked like when you take it home. It looked good. The can, you don't know. The can dressed up like, oh, man, I just bought me a can of whoop ass. Not thinking that, shit, I ain't know it could be my ass getting whooped. As soon as I opened this thing up and brought it to the house, she done went crazy. But you got to look at things different, guys. So I hope y'all got some out of this. Pay attention to this mess. And I'm going to get up out of here. So don't forget, hit that subscribe, like, and share. Also, super thanks. Support the channel. 
and I'm up out of here. And it's your boy once again, and y'all take care. Peace. Hit it. I'm out.